Hi everybody, this is Pramita here and I am back to show you another ephemera holder uh, as well as journal that I have made. This is a little bit different than the previous one um, but uh, they have uh, many similar qualities. Uh, so this, uh, let me open this up and show you. I have, uh, I'm going to post a link to the papers that I've used. Uh, this is in a vintage um, rose theme. Uh, so I've used papers from uh, my Poch prints and this is a vintage rose kind of paper. Uh, I liked this image a lot and uh, again this didn't come with any kind of ephemera. I had some ephemera in my stash and you also can buy um, some ephemera, uh, some rose ephemera packs and vintage packs from her shop. Sorry, some thread. Uh, I just finished this so maybe I'm going to go through this again once I upload the video and see if I have missed anything like inking up or you know stitching something again. Uh, some of the tags maybe I, I don't know maybe some um, some uh, just tag uh, sari silk or something of that sort. So over here this is a little bit different because I have already attached the journal inside this holder. It also comes with a bead charm and um, so what I have done is I have added again I've added a word label from um, Artemis. This came in one of her kits, A Touch of Spring I think and uh, I've used that. I had it in my stash and again this cover is stitched. I have used a very thick cardstock um, and this one has a reinforced spine. So. I hope you can see it because I have already tied the journal and I don't want to take this out. So this is the reinforced um, spine and um, this is the sari silk that attaches this journal with the uh, fold holder, ephemera holder. So this is the ephemera holder. This is the ephemera holder and this is the journal that you get. So the journal is basically very blank and um, uh, it comes with around... Um, um, 23 to 25 ephemera pieces um, very similar to the previous one and there are many collage um, ephemera that I've made uh, that go pretty well with this theme um, I'm going to go through that once again so the papers that I've used is uh, I think it is called uh, shabby shabby rose or vintage rose I'm not sure I had bought quite a few things from her a while back. I, I printed this out um, recently. Uh, so these are the journal cards that I made from the paper pack. And you can see that. So you get that. And then these are the ones that I was working on, you know, uh, just to build some stash of mine. So I just back them up I've just did some collage now this image is from antique papery and this these are all backed with tea stained papers this is a easy collage background a neutral background that I had done and then I've uh, you know used this image um, some label and this is the tea stained background so that goes in here so um, these are the ephemera pieces and at the back, this is the tall pocket, at the back you have two tall tags, uh, one is in the square shape and the other is in the, you know, this uh, tag shape. So they go in here. Now this is from a different paper pack. This is I think um, shabby dictionary um, kind of thing. And this is a collage that I've done using some of the elements, uh, some rose ephemera. Uh, these are all from uh, my Poch prints, these images. This is a four stamps uh, that she has and these are some rose ephemera piece. And what I've done is I've added a journal card inside. Again, this is backed with tea stained paper. And all of these envelopes, what I've done is uh, since uh, when you're using it from the top or side, whatever, uh, it's uh, it might get frayed a little bit. So what I've done is I've reinforced the lip portion with another piece of paper and this goes in here. 
here is the journal that I've added. So you can take this journal out and use it separately. This is a pocket that I've added on the first page and here is a rose ephemera, some punched page and then some botanical book page, some line page, some collage or journal cards that I have made and I've just attached them with paper clip. Um, this is also another journal card that I had worked on a while back. Some music page, some small pages, then again some edge punching that I've done. This is a Martha Stewart punch. Um, from Edith Holden book page, again some edge punching and lined page. And this is the center of the signature. This is the uh, Shabby Rose Dictionary, I think something, it's called Shabby Rose Dictionary. These are all on dictionary pages, you know, I, I like that shabby look a lot. So you can take this out uh, by untying this uh, sari silk and then you can use it as a separate tie in your journal to close your journal. So you can use it either way. So that's one thing. And this is another punched page and this I've done is a double page sort of thing like a window. So you can glue this part up and when you put something in, just let me show you. When you put something in, it is going to peek through. So if you put something in like this and glue both the sides, it's, it's going to have a window effect, you know. It's like so. It's very interesting looking and I thought that I'm going to do it like this so let me uh, paper clip that uh, I had paper clip that somewhere else okay I'll, I'll put a paper clip to this so it's going to stay like this and I think this looks pretty interesting and I've not never done like this something like this before and this just happened like a happy accident so it's going to be like this and then uh, this is a, the other side of the Edith Holden book page. This is another edge punched page. Again, some half pages. And here is some ephemera from my porch prints. Here is a collage that I've done. This is from my antique papery. So there's a mishmash of all sorts of things, you know. Um, but I try to follow the theme that I was working on. That's the vintage rose. Uh, that was my main... Um, goal you know sort of so I've attached it over here so you can have a peekaboo kind of effect I like this effect a lot maybe I'm going to do it again in some other journal <laughs> and uh, then you have this folded page uh, some line page and here again some punched uh, page here is the other side of the envelope and again this comes with another journal card so these are some collages that I had done a while back on envelopes and um, I think I do have a, some sort of a tutorial on my channel I'm not sure so maybe uh, you can go back and check how I did these so I think I do have this and I have used some book pages uh, some tissue paper from Tim Holtz these are papers from my stash and that's how they look. So this is the journal that comes with the ephemera pack. And the journal is stitched with a three hole pamphlets, pamphlet stitch. Sorry, I'm so tongue tied. And uh, uh, this is also from that shabby dictionary, uh, shabby rose kit. I I'm going to post the link below. So no worries. So here I have the same thing some ephemera in the pockets so this is a ticket rose ticket and I've just added I've punched a hole and I've just added a tie because this is pretty big uh, to be called a ticket as such but I like it this is also from that paper pack uh, I've just positioned some uh, I think this one this one was a rose ephemera pack this was in the rose ephemera pack uh, yeah so here I have some journal card which says fearless and these are these images are from antique papery so they came in a, um, I think ATC card pack so this is another image 
and here I have a journal card so that goes in here <coughs> sorry guys and here you have some more tags they are from the shabby dictionary uh, <coughs> pages so this is going to be listed in my shop I'll post all the links below and if you're interested you can and all these stamps that I've done I have stitched around them <coughs> just to give them an extra interest there's a lot of sewing going in uh, going on over here and here's also a little bit of lace trim that I've added so this is a little bit different from the previous one <coughs> but the concept is basically the same so bye everybody thank you for watching and uh, have a great day